Is it, is it love? It is love. <laughs> that is so exciting. Oh, I love how much you're smiling. You just look so happy and just so giddy talking about it. I, I'm very happy. I feel like, you know, there's something about becoming best friends with someone first. Um, you know, way before anything was ever there. I just feel like I've never had that before. This has never happened where he's my best friend and we just became so close with work. And um, so I do recommend it to anyone uh, to do it backwards. It's really I, great. I also recommend Jason's. I just married a man named Jason. <laughs> so I think Jason's are, okay. yeah, they're, they're good ones. Congratulations, by the way. Oh, thank you. What, what type of future do you see with your Jason? Do you want to get married again? I really don't know, truthfully. I just know that at the end of the day, I care about, you know, what matters and, you know, throwing parties and that kind of stuff we can do all day, every day. And I just care about what it boils down to. What is there when everyone's gone, the party's over and the doors are closed. And I think that's what I'm focusing on right now. Yeah. And the rest, if it's meant to be, will come. Absolutely. I think I told you this at your shoe launch, but you freezing your eggs inspired me. So I'm just curious where you are at in that process, how you're feeling. Do you still want to be a mom one day? Yes, I do remember this conversation. You were so sweet and I'm so happy for you. And I think, you know, the science and technology is in our favor. You know, I think women, you know, we, we have a much bigger span for life than what was given to us before. And yeah. we should take advantage of that. And sometimes if you put your career first, you know, things do get a little delayed um, than they were before. And so I think that, you know, it's something that I took advantage of. And, you know, I'm definitely looking at my options. I, I would love to be a mom. Have you talked to Jason about this? You know, those conversations, you know, of, of course we have. So, I, I mean, I don't know what we're gonna do, but you know, it's just one of those things that um, I'm very open with where I'm at in life. And I think that's the key. Meet someone where they are and don't change, you know, and I think that that's why it works so well. And we're very, our communication is very open and honest. So there's no conversation that we haven't had at this point. Well, first of all, hi. It's so nice Hello. to see you. Nice to see you too. What an exciting time for you. First of all, just how are you doing? How is life right now? I am so excited to just feel like, you know, I'm I'm in the best place I've ever been. And so I'm really excited to be able to share that with everybody of what I've been working so hard with and, you know, just really kind of letting people see. I don't hold a grudge, but I do hold people accountable come down to a point where it's gonna be me or her. Season four of Selling Sunset is so much fun. There's so much drama. There's some new faces. What can you tell viewers about what they should expect? Well, you know, I do think that, you know, the way that the seasons have gone so far, viewers are coming in expecting some drama and some beautiful real estate. And I will say we definitely deliver. This is one of our best seasons and I know everyone's really proud of it. And so I think all those things that make you want to watch the show, we give that tenfold. So yes. I, I would say for viewers, they're definitely going to be happy. I would, I would hope so. I, I feel like for you, and you kind of touched on this and just how, how well you're doing, but life is kind of a fairy tale for you right now when you just purchased your own house. Are we gonna see that on the show this season? You are gonna see that. I, I'm so proud of the house and it was such a roller coaster to, to get to this place, but you know, the show follows me through that. It was really special to be able to, um, you know, kind of be able to take the viewers along with me. So, you know, there are moments where, you know, things don't go my way, just as anybody knows it's, you know, done this process before, but I've always been on the other side of it. So it was really kind of nice to feel like, you know, I can finally be here. It was all worth it. One thing that we don't see this season is your relationship with Jason. Why, why is that? Well, you know, we, we try to keep things under wraps for a little bit just because we, you know, it's one of those things we didn't know what it was before we wanted to share with everybody. Right. And, you know, then we get to a place where we felt, you know, strong enough to be able to be able to block out any kind of negativity because we're just so happy. So then we shared it with everyone. And so 
the cameras are there to catch all that, but for a little while, I know production wasn't very happy that we skirted around them for a little bit, but I'm sure anyone can understand. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. I do tend to be a little protective of things like that just because, you know, I, I have a fear of, you know, putting it all out there and it not working out. And now I'm to a place where there's just so much love and respect there that you know, at the end of the day, um, I want to be able to, you know, share my life in real time. And I know that worst case scenario, that that love and respect will never not be there. When did you realize that there were feelings there? You know, that's actually a, a good question. I think it, it took me a little longer just because, I don't know, I just had a mental block up because he was very open about being kind of like a lifelong bachelor and that's not what I'm looking for. So I was not ever seeing him in that light. And it wasn't until he kind of, you know, sat me down and told me how he was feeling that I was like, wait, what? You changed him. <laughs> so um, it was definitely a surprise for me. Um, and, you know, that kind of uh, changed everything. So I kind of started to see him differently. And now here we are. Pivoting a little bit, Christine, and you have had a very hard relationship, friendship, if that's even the proper word. Where do you guys stand these days? You know, I know that the fans would probably um, love a different answer. And unfortunately, I don't feel like I can give that to them. Um, it just, you know, it's just kind of oil and water at this point. I, I hope that we can have a mutual respect as far as, you know, having the same goal of wanting to be successful and you know work together on a show that's obviously doing really well and so I'm just hoping that at least we can you know as differences that we may have at least we can focus on the things we agree on so that's kind of where we're at but we shouldn't look for any type of apology coming your way this season <laughs> 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 I was hoping for it. Maybe when pigs fly. I did see that she kind of threw some shade at you and your relationship with Jason. I guess, how did that make you feel? Is there anything you want to say about that? Can I be 100% honest with you? If she had said something really loving and supporting and really nice, now that would have shocked me. Then we would have something to talk about. Right. At this point, it's all very predictable. I don't expect anything different, so it is what it is. I do want to ask you quickly about your memoir. I am so excited to read it. It's called Under Construction. What was the writing process, I guess, like for you? Was it cathartic at all? And, and what are we gonna learn about you? I mean, there's a little bit of everything in there. You know, I get to dive a little deeper into things of my past or things that, you know, I've kind of worked through to get where I am. So I'm hoping that it can kind of serve to inspire other people that have, you know, can relate to different yeah. things. And then, you know, I definitely think, I, you know, there are things in there that, you know, we don't go into on the show that are a little more, uh, you know, closer to the best with things. So I, I'm hoping that it will be something where you dive deeper with me, but also your takeaway is, you know, hopefully, even though there are a lot of tough things that we talk about and that I went through, you come out of it feeling inspired and, you know, hopefully hopeful and, you know, just kind of really positive. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.